hi guys welcome back to my channel Cotton Marie to my chain. so for today's video we're gonna be achieving this look and this is gonna be a makeup no makeup look I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber you already know it is all love thank you so much for subscribing thank you for your love and support I truly truly appreciate you also don't forget to comment down below any other type of video you like to see next I'll make sure I film that for you as well and yeah you guys this look was very very easy to achieve it's extremely beginner friendly so i hope you enjoy it all right guys let's get started so for my eyebrows i'll be using my um go brow pencil by ruby kisses in the color black brown and um i get this at the beauty supply store really really cheap so at first it comes with like a spoolie to brush your brows so i first brush it in the direction I want it to be. I need to get my brows done. I'm waiting for the holidays to get closer and closer. So maybe next week when I get my nails and I do my brows too. But it's still alright. We can work with this. My pencil is right here. And it comes with a pencil sharpener. So I'll make it a bit more sharper. There we go. And I have my mirror right here. I just... go over my brows very lightly you know and I'm really you know blessed that I have micro shedding so it is very easy to just draw my brows literally super quick So if you're a girly that has eyebrows already, like nice thick eyebrows, this should be easy for you as well. Or, you know, well-shaped brows. So that's that. And then I literally just go ahead and clean it up. But you clean it up. Instead of using like the concealer, I go in with my foundation so it can look like my skin tone. And I take the tip of my concealer to dab in my foundation, like so. I just like um, to hold the mirror for my brows. Don't worry. After that, I won't have the mirror in my hand. And I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah. So this is how it's looking. And now, we'll just go in with my brow brush. And I just clean it. Blend it in. Literally, this makeup, no makeup look is for people that are new into makeup, beginner friendly, and it's for everyone, literally. But I'm taking my time to show you guys because I'm like, I want it to be very much beginner friendly. So. And I take the back of the brush and brush it in again. And once it's like this, if you want, if your eyebrows are not done like mine, I will take this from the dollar store and I just go over where I see the extra hairs. Don't be scared, you know. Like this, it looks pretty clean. I do the same thing at the top, but I take my time because I'm literally not trying to cut any actual well shaped hair. And yeah, you guys, 
put it over here. So now that our eyebrows are done, what we'll do is go in with the primer. So I'll be using my Becca Mattifying Primer because my face can sometimes get oily easily. So I just get a little bit and I put it all over my face. It should be focusing on my T area like so and foundation I'm not going to worry about color correcting I use two pump for my foundation and I go like this I start applying where I have my dark spot and I blend it start blending Literally two pump is more than enough. Especially if you have like if your skin is like mine with you no know, dark spot, two pump should be good. But if you have nice skin, one pump should be good. And my foundation is Milani Conceal Perfect Two in One Foundation Plus Concealer and in the color 13 Chestnut. So, once again this is a makeup no makeup look it's good you know for work it's good to run errands it's good if you're trying to go somewhere and don't want to look like you did too much it's good for quick date night it's good for interviews the leftover foundation that's right here I'll take it and add it but it's barely anything for a so, when you put foundation, make sure you bring it down a bit around your neck so it looks together. And um, now, what I want you to do is grab your powder, right? And I'm using a spawn air spawn powder. powder. But I recently purchased the Laura Mercier, but we're not going to use that today because you can use any powder you really use um, to set your concealer. But this, this is how much I'll use. And I'll just go around it. And while I go around it, I also make sure it touches my eyelid so you can conceal the whole place. And I bring it down. So I repeat the same thing on the other side. Out and down, and then I go like this in my five on my five head, and then I bring it down in the middle of my eyebrows, just like that. Chin, keep it on, and around the, the mouth, like that. Take a little bit bridge of my nose. And the leftover around my mouth again. So, and then now I'm blend. Bridge of my nose, blend, blend, blend. That's what it's giving. Then we are done with this. And one thing I like about the S one is that it goes with any skin tone. That's why I like it. So from here. You can just grab your contour powder and I tap in the middle one just a little bit, literally. And I go bring it up as I'm doing it. Take a little bit on my five head again. Like this is so quick and you guys I'm not fast forwarding this. Really, like I want you guys to see in real time how long it can take for this one. So that's that. The leftover that's on the uh, brush. I like to bring it on the side of my nose. Just have a mini snatch nose, and then the rest I bring it down here 
part of it is left. And voila. You can go in with a contour and put a bit on your lids, eyelids, like this. Literally. Mm -hmm. That's what it's giving. Now, using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the color Sun Dipped. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. I literally go in with this one, the brown looking one. I don't know if you guys, there we go. I go in and I highlight real quick, you know, lightly, really. Because, like I said, it's not supposed to look like you have so much makeup on. Y'all see that? That's all. Leftover. Keep it bow. A little bit more. Tap, 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 tap on my five head. Leftover on the bridge of my nose. The tip of my nose. Bridge, tip. And whatever is left here, I just pass it over my, like, my brows. Like, under my eyebrows, like this. Like, literally. And I got the new Sky High um, by Maybelline in the color Black as Black. Let's open this up. And I use this. For my lashes i literally bought this for the days that i do not want to put lashes and see what my lashes look good so the reviews on this are just amazing so i decided to give it a try while making this video and baby who y'all seen that oh yeah it's doing what it needs to do oh yeah mm. But don't put too, too much because you will look like you put too much mascara. You know what I'm saying? And then for the bottom, and you carefully just do it like this, just so. And um, that is that. Review on this one might be coming soon. Because I really want to play with it some more, not just for makeup, no makeup. I want to play with it. But I definitely recommend already. If you watch this video, you already got the tea on this one. I recommend let me know if you want to see a full review of me just talking about this one because I do recommend this is nice next of course my lips I go in my literally beauty supply store I think it was like a dollar just it's called um, NK makeup lip gel just go in apply this on my lips Mm -hmm. And to finish everything up, I'll be using my Skin Denavia, the makeup finishing spray all control with a quick shake. And you are all set, you guys. Let me fix my bandana. Yeah, you guys, this is what it's giving. This look good for school, good for work, good for any really, anything, any place that's really like important, but you don't want to look too much. Job interview, good for quick errands, dates. This literally, this is the look. Like, it's good for any and everything. So, once again, this is the look.
all right you guys this is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it once again if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also subscribe if you are new make sure your notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber you already know it is all love thank you so much for your love and support thank you so much for coming back and messing with your girl i truly appreciate it and yeah you guys comment down below any other type of video you like me to film next i'll make sure i do so for you do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms my instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok will be in the description box down below for your convenience and i'll catch you guys on my next one bye guys